Puddles in the morning, puddles in the evening, puddles in the afternoon. Well, I'm a puddle boy and she's a puddle girl. The Puddles Podcast is starting real soon. All right. Welcome to Puddles. It's uh, your host, Andrew Collin, joined by my co-host, Brenna LaRock. Brenna is live from Chicago. She is at her sister's house who just had a baby. And Brenna is using her brother-in-law's computer. And she's using a headset where she looks exactly like <laughs> um, a call center fo- photo of a woman that makes you trust them. <laughs> Like you Dude, could like be a, a perfect, brochure. you could be a brochure. I mean, if you're not watching on YouTube, uh, yeah, you're a perfect face for, I would trust that face. Hey, after I started taking antidepressants and started working from home, I got my life together. You never took antidepressants, did you? Or did you? You tried it. Not mine. <laughs> you were stealing you were stealing prosies dude yeah i used to steal antidepressants uh and xanax now i just borrow xanax yeah who would you steal from uh one of my friends would like take it from their dad or their grandpa and then i i think i tried my brother's wellbutrin a little for a little bit because <laughs> he stopped taking it <laughs> Sorry. But so you thought if it like caught on, you would then meet with someone or did you even have that plan? No, I genuinely thought I was depressed, but I was like, I guess I'll just take this medication instead of like going and trying to find my own. (laughs) No, I get that. But I'm saying you didn't do any research and knowing that you have to take it for like a couple months for it to get into your bloodstream to get you going. I thought that like you were just taking it like I didn't think it was like like Tylenol but I didn't but I didn't think it would be three months I thought if I just took it for a few days I'd be like okay I'm feeling good again (laughs) you trained your mental health like a sprained knee hilarious dude dude. I I don't know I was messed up I get it I get it I've done I haven't done that but it's been a while since you've been on antidepressants I know sometimes I think I need them yeah yeah I don't I don't I don't think you do I like you more off of them. <laughs> I like you for you. <laughs> yeah, but I have to like myself. You like when I hate myself. <laughs> no, I like when your penis gets hard. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Nothing will screw up your your sex drive like antidepressants and birth control. Boy, I tell you what. I love the idea of me not taking mine so I can't get a hard on, which then <laughs> makes you steal mine because <laughs> you're sad. Dude, oh man, it is, it is a commitment once you start taking them, you know, and then I started taking Wellbutrin and then I could get hard, but I'm like, why am I have to do a cocktail? It was a struggle. Yeah. But you know, I don't think my lows were as low. I probably could have used them for the move to LA. I probably, yeah. but anyhow, now I just work out and, um, but you're gone and you yeah. went, your sister had a baby. How old yeah. the, the baby's like? My sister had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> you just send me photos of this kid. I don't even text Andrew throughout the day. I just am like, here's a photo of this alien baby. Um, He's uh, like 12 days old. He's brand new. And he grows every day. Like today we woke up, we have this routine down, you know, like we're on the baby's routine. And this morning, so this is the third, uh, second morning I've been here, but third day. And I go up, so we go upstairs every morning and we just stare at him because he's super active in the morning. So I go up to my sister's bed and we just drink coffee and stare at him because he's just looking at us and looking at the lights. And I swear this morning he had like, he grew like a whole head of hair overnight. You could see his hairline all of a sudden and his eyes are opening bigger. And yeah, it's, it's really cool to see. You think his hair grew overnight? 
No, like he. Did you steal like, my bald, <laughs> my bald spray? <laughs> yeah, I took your, I took your you antidepressants took and your bald spray. <laughs> dude, what do you, dude, you are fucking It's so me funny. Up. It's so funny for me to care more about like my nephew's hairline than yours. Be like, he, <laughs> he needs it more than you. It's, it's so jealous of like, he's just getting his hair coming in and yeah. mine is going out. But yeah, dude, no, can't... I mean, it's crazy. You send me photos. He looks like a little angel. Yeah, he's so angelic and just beautiful and like he's You're just... smelling his brain. Yeah. Brenna thinks a baby's head is so so thin <laughs> that it's his the baby smell is the brain. Well, I read on Reddit that mm. that you like this because people love the smell of specifically of newborn babies' heads and somebody commented, you know, like what's one weird thing you know about the human body? I'm sure it was like an ask Reddit and they said that smell that you like on babies is actually you're smelling like their brains because they have soft spots. And that's like what the smell is that we like, which I don't well, care. He still smells delicious. No, look, I mean, not, there's not every day that you get to smell a brain. I'll Gosh, tell you what, my head yeah. is so thick. You don't, I got no smell there. <laughs> you know, I got nothing freaking I'm falling apart here. I, Brenna's never left me. Alone, I'm always on the road. Brent is never on the road, so I'm never alone in our own apartment, really. And uh, for a minute there, I was like, ah, sweet relief. I get, I, I could breathe. I could live my bachelor life, which I realized. Um, I, I went and played golf three days in a row, and I, I played 18 holes, and I didn't even think for a second like I have to get home, and that felt kind of cool. And then, um that kind of goes away pretty quick because then you're like, wow, no one needs me home. No one, no one cares where I'm at. I could die on this course and no one would care. <laughs> and it's okay. uh, I've been tracking. Yeah. Making sure you're getting home. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so, and then I ended up, so I played 18 holes every day, three days in a row. And I played yesterday and um, I played terrible. Well, pretty bad at this course that's apparently the best course in L.A. So I was, like, really looking forward to it. Which, if I'm we're at... being honest, it's not in L.A. You drove for an hour, over an hour to get to it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's called Rustic Canyon. It's probably, like, an, yeah, it's not in L.A. It's a, I don't even know if it's in California. But <laughs> I drove all the way there, and I put so much of it in my mind because I'm like, I'm not, I never get this much time to do it. And, uh... And so I was so depressed driving back. I was like, God damn it. I can't even fucking play golf. This is my escape. And it's even stressing me out. And so I was like, I got to get a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I told Brenna when she left that I'm only eating salads. Yeah, and when I... she comes back, I'm going to look fantastic. Yeah, I was promised a six pack by the time I came back. No, you just get a six pack of Coors Light <laughs> and a fucking grind, man. So I end up. Going to this one pizza place that I saw on TikTok called Apologinas or something. And I get there and I try to open the door. The door's locked. I can't get in. And this like burly man goes, we close at 830. And it was like nine o'clock. And I was like, fuck, man. So then I went back to our old stomping ground, Prime, and got four slices and a Diet Coke. And then I crushed those in. I crushed one in the car, burnt the roof of my mouth. <laughs> The roof of my mouth was like falling off. And then I got home and I was like, God, the roof of my mouth, what can calm that? Because I was like, ice cream will help the roof. Of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and so I fucking ordered Van Loo and a pint and I just crushed the pint in bed. What so flavor? I, uh, fucking honeycomb, peanut butter honeycomb so with good. brownie. Oh my God. I was like, ah, oh, my mouth doesn't feel that bad anymore. But holy shit, I woke up this morning like, you know when like pizza boxes are the one thing where like after you eat a pizza, you could tear, you know, apart the box to throw it away, but you never do it. So a pizza box is always like huge and like it's always on the counter and like yeah. there's like <laughs> or like on just... top of the trash can. <laughs> and you want to get rid of it, but you also like you're so like kind of hung over from food that you can't yeah. throw it away in the outdoor trash can. <laughs> so you're just staring at your shame. bad decision. Yeah, your shame. 
and I shouldn't care that much. But you shouldn't, because you you know you do eat really healthy. Like you've been pretty disciplined, but it almost is just like makes it harder because I think when you're focused on getting so healthy, that one meal you just feel like it set you back so far. When the truth yeah. is, it's actually just. I mean, you know, there's a difference between like being in a calorie de- deficit and wanting to lose weight versus just like leading a healthy lifestyle, which I think that you want to do both. But if you're really looking at it just from like a weight loss perspective, like it's fine, but you know. Yeah, but you're gone for like two days. I just have boxes <laughs> of fucking pizza, ice cream empty. I'm fucking clothes yeah. are all over the ground. And I know uh, I was wondering. I cleaned the place before I left, like specifically was like, let me bleach the toilet. Let me clean up mango stuff, like do the things that I just know, like you're not going to do. And I can't go two weeks without it being clean. I can do like one, but I was like, I have to do this now. But I was wondering, I'm curious to see what you, your standard of like picking up for me is when I come. Oh, it's going to, it's not going to be, I'm, I'm not, it's bad. I know. I literally did like four loads of laundry for Andrew at the laundromat. Like I did it all. And I just know it's already a pigsty. (laughs) I mean, when I lived separately from Andrew, he had carrots under the bed. He had a closet. Andrew had a very nice guest or like a very nice bedroom with like a big bathroom that I, I loved. It was like double sink floor to ceiling, tile, shower, all of it. And then in the very back behind that was like this huge walk-in closet that's big enough for two people. And he didn't hang up a single (laughs) item of clothing. It was a, it was if (laughs) if a schizophrenic was given a storage unit, like it was just piled and piles and piles of boxes and blankets i found a blush back there and i was like whose blush is this and then oh i was blushing yeah. yeah it was it was i think that closet is bigger than our current apartment yeah but, it was um huge. yeah i was a, i've always been a disaster on my own in regards to um you know when i lived in new york i lived i had a bed that was a a queen on top of a full you know, like lit on top of a full, um, what you would call it? Bed, uh, bed I had frame. A bed frame mm-hmm. forever. And it just like, and you know, like uh, going back, like I got my window knocked out. I remember of my car. And m- so I just didn't have a window for about eight months. I just put a garbage <laughs> bag over it. Wow. Like th- I've always just put a band aid on all these things and just been able to ignore them. I don't know. I just don't really focus on them. And uh, I've been better, but I quickly realized since you left, you know, because a lot of times I'm on the road, I'm at a hotel room, I'll just spread out. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I don't really see my filth. But I'll tell you what. You realized I, how much I pick up and do for us? No. <laughs> I would never you give you credit. I would never give I know. You credit. I was like, maybe it'll make him appreciate my contributions more. <laughs> This is why you cleaned up. You're such a psychopath. Dude, oh my God. This morning, I woke up and I looked at your location because I didn't talk to you. I didn't talk to you after you like were leaving the golf course last night because I went to bed. And I was like, let me just make sure he got home safe. And your location was loading like a street over and a block down from where we actually live. And I was like, (laughs) my first thought was actually like, Andrew dropped his phone like he couldn't find parking and he dropped his phone and he can't like in another he needs girl's me. panties. <laughs> he needs me because I have to message him on Instagram or something and be like, this is the address that your phone's at because it wasn't loading. It wasn't loading. And then I like spiraled and I went there and I was like, does he have a girlfriend that just like lives really close to us? <laughs> like <laughs> just for a split second, like I don't actually believe you would cheat, but there's always that little part of me that's like, or he he's having an an affair. Yeah, you're One telling yourself. Two. I could see your brain going. Is he really a lawyer who <laughs> makes two point eight million dollars a year and drives a a Tesla and a Ferrari? Yeah, and has three kids. <laughs> yeah, 
I think and for when a while you go there, on, and yeah. when you go on the road, it's just like you going to see your family. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going God. on the road. <laughs> no, I'm too lazy for that. You know, <laughs> who are these guys <laughs> having? That's two true. fucking families. Dude. I don't I even c- know if you can handle our family. <laughs> yeah. We don't even have a kid yet. We just have a cat. There's guys out there that have full on second and third family. It's crazy. Oh my god, it's so crazy. You have to be in such denial to not realize it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's got to be. I mean, it's the time management factor is insane. Like, and they'll I have like full on job, like full time jobs. I feel like they're normally like. Vi- I mean, of course, because they're affording two families, they're normally like men who have good careers, you know, like what is happening? How, how, how? Yeah, it is interesting. Like the guy that has a job just so he can cheat. Like that's the other one. Yeah, a job that lets him travel. (laughs) (laughs) It's like you're gone a lot for a guy that works from home. Yeah, I work from many homes. Um, (laughs) Dude, it's like that Andrew Huberman guy. He had like nine different women that he was like sleeping with at the same time. And he would write them all. The best part about when you find out that the guy's been cheating is the women will, you'll compare notes and like (laughs) what he wrote you and what he's been writing. And he just wrote like yum to all of them. (laughs) Like, like everyone got like a one word, like to like, you know, nudes that they would send them. He just like yum. (laughs) <laughs> but everyone got yum so he was just copy and pasting he probably didn't even write it again dude i don't care if there's he's saying that to multiple women if some guy says yum to me to my nude i'm already pissed <laughs> don't say yum there's so much pressure on the guy of like what to, how to answer a nude. there totally is like sometimes i i don't love the way that you respond to be honest what's the perfect response to a nude from a guy i like honestly like i think it's an ick wowza <laughs> no that's giving that reminds me of your dad no no <laughs> i'm pretty Brad sure I've, oh my god i think i don't really like a guy who uses emojis but i think like if you be, because you don't use them if you use like a few like you know that ma- that red face emoji with like the little like sweating drop like the one <laughs> that's like maybe... what you want you want no fucking... no 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 in combination with like <laughs> like wow i'm so horny for you now or something i don't know i just like don't say don't see give how me hard a it one... is no it's not hard i'm just saying like don't give me a one-worded response yeah you know what if you just sent me like the hottest nude ever i just wrote k <laughs> i mean you literally <laughs> said before you've been like so hot babe or like good wow wow like it's just i run out of words man i run out of adjectives no you just don't care to think about it hard enough oh you know what (laughs) this is why i'm fine next i'm just sending you that devil emoji and one of these fucking hang don't 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 because now i told you i want you to do that so you can't do it anymore (laughs) yeah now i have to write a fucking soliloquy yeah i'm like 40 page fucking (laughs) Your breasts are like a river that runs through my mind. I'll just that have I AI want, write it. I'll just that I want Chat to GPT. drink from. Yeah, I'll be like ChatGPT. Uh, what should I write? <laughs> Some titties and ass. Yeah, they'll be like, we don't talk about that on ChatGPT. There's so many things that you bring up to ChatGPT to ask them to do. That's not even that dark, you know. You're like, you know, write a joke about um, Jewish people, and they'll be like, we can't compute with that. And like those limitations is like the only thing that's going to save us from AI, I think, or they'll just train to just kill and that'll be it. But, um, yeah, freaking OJ died recently. Maybe that will be in the news, but yeah, yeah. I saw that he died this morning. The juice. I mean, he was great in, um, oh, what's that movie? Um, shit. Uh, the baseball movie. His documentary. (laughs) <laughs> Mel is writing. So Mel is on this and she's just writing that's in the snooze. <laughs> oh, okay. In the chat. But uh what was the mo- oh Naked Gun? I My saw bo- I what? Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I just like simply nothing. Um I saw something funny on Reddit. I've been on Reddit a lot since I've been here. And um I saw a funny ask Reddit that says 
what's the weirdest thing your partner does that you've just accepted? And um, somebody will say like, wait, there's, hold on, I, oh, fuck, where's the comment? She sleeps with her eyes open occasionally and will also sometimes laugh like someone just told her the greatest joke ever told while sleeping. I've accepted my little demon. If somebody started laughing and cackling in their <laughs> sleep, I'm putting a pillow over your head. Wait, why do you hate that so bad? Because I'm having fun with someone else? No, it's creepy. It's creepy. Um, but there's some really good ones on here. And I was just thinking about you and I, like, if there was anything you felt like that you, you were do? like, that's a really weird thing you do, but you're just like, oh, I accept it. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Um, trying to think what you do that I accept that is creepy. Or like, just like weird or like yeah. quirky that, um, let's uh see. I'm trying to think what you do that's quirky. I mean, the amount of different outfits you put on uh, in one time is pretty quirky to me. Yeah. But, and I accept it. <laughs> I don't think that's quirky. I just think you, you're like not like that's like a woman thing. It's like, does this look good? Does this look good? When you're concentrating, Andrew sticks his tongue out. Like he goes. Oh, my dad does that too. I know, like a like a thirsty dog. <laughs> it's so funny to me. That's actually he's... a good photo to send to you when you send your tits to me. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever yeah. I'm like concentrating, my tongue comes out of my mouth. I don't know what that is. That's definitely some form of mental illness. Yeah. No. I just... I... <laughs> yeah. Just. I wonder if it's genetic or if you picked up on it, like just like picked it up from your dad. I really. You try to get rid of phlegm a lot. Oh yeah, I do that. I do do like. You, uh, under, <laughs> <laughs> you make noises I was, that I don't think would come out of you. Yeah. That, yeah. Um, because <clears throat> I was see, I was seeing <clears throat> this. <laughs> <clears throat> and then was, and then I'll was, whistle once, and she's like, "Really?" <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I was like watching this. Um, this like somebody was covering this study done on biological or yeah, like um twins that were separated at birth and a lot of them have like super similar life life stories like the careers that they choose um you know like the hobbies that they like to do their tendencies like um you know they like to keep their hair rushed to the right instead of to the left like super creepy and then all the way down to um this both of these twins married for example a girl named Stacy they both had a child with Stacy and named their child James. Then they divorced Stacy and both remarried a woman named Donna. Like crazy, crazy shit like that. Can you believe it? So right. that's why I'm like, you must have like genetically picked it up from your dad, right? Like, are you saying I have a twin that picks his nose? And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called my nephew. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. I definitely yes. My dad. Look. We both stick our tongues out. We have definitely a lot of similar mannerisms, for sure. Mm -hmm. We both eat loud. Mm -hmm. He eats louder than me, but I definitely, yeah. I can't. The quieter I try to eat, the louder it gets, I think. Oh, my At God. Least, You're getting louder with age, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's something of that when you know a man <laughs> is getting too old. Because he's fucking just, I don't know what it is. Maybe he just stops caring. And it's like, this is how you're supposed yeah. to eat. Maybe people are supposed to sound like yeah. fucking horses just chewing on carrots just... <laughs> but everything man it's just it's bad i'm getting a mushy ass mouth you as do, i get older you have a joke about it making fun of your dad and you do the same thing oh, now it's so for sure. funny i did it I was, then too. yeah i was on your stepmom's facebook earlier and there was like a photo of your dad <laughs> on her Wait, profile pictures and he's making this this like same face that you make i gotta find it because i was like oh my god this why is were so you on my stepmom's facebook because she came up and i was like oh <laughs> let me look at her let me her go profile. through all those photos <laughs> yeah but there's this face your dad's making that i'm just like what the hell this looks just like andrew I was on your stepmom's Facebook. Look at you know in 2014, May 15th. This looks like you so much. Yeah, that is pretty much that identical. is you. Yeah. 
<laughs> like I make that face all the that, time you when do. you want to be sexual. I fucking make that face. It's because I can't smile. handle it. I can't it's handle the it. Smile and the beard. It's so funny. So uh, funny to me. It's yeah. But yeah. I think it's adorable. I we both uh, have a gap in our teeth yeah. too. I think it's adorable. I like personally was um well, you know what? Maybe I'll actually save this. I'm gonna save this for the Patreon. All right. All right. Welcome to Snooze. Uh Mel is here from her apartment. We're on Zoom. Also, if you're listening, uh Snooze is brought to you by our Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash puddles with Andrew and Brenna. For five dollars, you could get four extra episodes a month. Uh, we're creating a nice little community over there. Thank you so much for the people that have already supported the pod. It's a way to help our podcast for us to afford to keep doing this. So if you want to support the podcast, go to patreon.com and uh come on over and uh five bucks, four extra apps. All right, snooze. What do we got? Snooze, okay. The juice is no longer loose. O.J. Simpson's family shared that he passed away yesterday after privately battling cancer, as we talked about. Um, before 1994, O.J. was known as one of the best all-time running backs, a Heisman Trophy winner, and an actor. Um, and his legacy was forever changed despite being cleared by a Los Angeles jury of the horrific slashing murders of his ex-wife and male friend of the trial of the century. Do you guys think O.J. was guilty? Rest in peace. Well... Rest not in peace. Rest in hell. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. going to be in hell. I mean, it, it, I don't think he, I definitely think he did it. He's 100%. not innocent. <laughs> I mean, I think there's like everything that I saw, uh, like no one else has been accused. He had a glove that didn't fit, so it <clears throat> couldn't have been him. I mean, he rode maybe... around in a Bronco for hours after saying he was going to kill himself because he knew that he was guilty and that once he got in front of a jury, he was fucked. I still remember like it was yesterday watching that Bronco go down the 405 or whatever. No other cars, just this white Bronco. Yes, I think he did it. And I think in civil court, he got charged. Um, but uh, it's so funny. He's like so entertaining where he came out and then he got on Twitter and people like are like, he's still funny. He's yes, he slashed their throats. You know, it, it's just an insane. We live in an insane world. It's like Gypsy Rose. It's the same thing. It's like, have we forgotten that she's a murderer? You know, like she's so fun though. Yeah, she's so silly. She got a nose job. Did you see that? Oh, she did. I can't wait to see her. Gypsy nose job. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she's like gonna be like a Kardashian, like in a year from now. Yeah. She's gonna have a BBL and a BBW and a fucking BMW, all the B's. Fucking yeah, OJ. Yeah, I mean, it's you know, it, what's interesting is like if you die, it's like he lived enough where when he dies and people aren't like, aha, karma, because he lived to 76. He had a pretty good life after killing people. Um, but yeah, uh, you yeah. know. Good running back. Great running back. But all right. Next, next. Next topic. We have reached the first weekend of Coachella, but nobody seems to give a shit. Last year was the first time in 11 years that the festival didn't sell out both weekends. This year, it has taken one whole month to sell out the first weekend, where in the past, tickets could be sold anywhere between 40 minutes to four hours. On average, 125,000 people attend Coachella each year over its two weekends. While some people are blaming low ticket sales on the whole experience being too expensive, others are blaming the lineup. Which do you think it is? Everyone is poor right now, number one. Uh, and also, like, Coachella's, like, not cool anymore. And, like, it's not cool, right? Yeah, it's like a joke. Like, you hear yeah. Coachella and you feel like, it's been such a meme, you know, Coachella, Burning Man. It's become like a, a joke in itself, just the yeah. word alone. And yeah. I think COVID, unless... Yeah, What's go that? ahead. No, no go people ahead. like post-COVID, like right after COVID, everyone wanted, they didn't care what the cost was. They wanted to be somewhere. They wanted to be around people. They wanted to be at festivals. They wanted to be at comedy shows. And that's, you know, 
when you can't afford eggs, it starts to die down a little bit. And everyone's like, uh, okay, we did that. It's like me going golfing after you left. I'm like, okay, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done with that. Um, I think in general, just like that kind of, I don't know, like it's not cool to do like it, different. It's hobbies or trends, you know, like it's not cool to go to Coachella anymore. It's cool to like go and like have a healthy day with your friends and like go to the <laughs> beach and like be wholesome and eat like acai bowls. And like nobody's talking about like the Kardashians anymore. Like the car sorry, the Kardashians used to like go to Coachella. So everybody wanted to go to Coachella. Like no one cares about the Kardashians anymore. Like it's just also we're in a recession. So like being minimal and like easygoing is like now what's cool. And Coachella is just like the last thing it is is easygoing. Like it's just yeah. not the vibe. Well, so much of just like going out culture, going to clubs has all died down. Like all that like drinking, partying culture in this whatever generation Z or whatever has like people don't get fucked up like they used to. Mm -hmm. And it's I, yeah. I mean, who's the main who are the two are the top artists at Coachella? The headliners are Lana Del Rey, Tyler, the creator and Doja Cat. And no doubt they'll be making their reunion. Yeah, I don't care about any of those artists. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm honestly enough to go to the desert. No. And like wear a pair of like $70 free people shorts. Like dead and, cut off shorts. And sleep in a tent. Yeah. Like I can't afford a hotel room. <laughs> and so many so people that go to dumb. Coachella do it for themselves. And to just get the photo on Instagram. And they've done it the last five years. And they're like, okay, this got me this. I'm kind of over it. I did it. I got the photo. Yeah. On to the next thing. Anyhow. All right. What's next? All right. Lastly, Ice Spice, A24, and Apple Original Films are partnering to produce a new Spike Lee film where Ice Spice is making her acting debut alongside Denzel Washington, who is not making his acting debut, <laughs> as we know. Um, the crime th thriller titled High and Low is a reinterpretation of Akira Kurosawa's 1963 film noir of the same name and tells the story of a rich businessman who gets extorted after his child gets kidnapped and falls into debt after paying the ransom. Do we think Ice Spice is, like, his child? Um, I feel like... If you get enough followers on Instagram and TikTok, you can be the star of any movie. <laughs> like you literally Dude, like Do you know who Ice Spice is? Yeah, I know she's she's a singer. She has like a couple hit songs. She did a song with uh like Taylor Swift. She like was on one of her tracks. I'm just saying you could get famous enough just based off of followers where you'll get opportunities that you probably don't deserve compared to other actors. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, which, you know, there's this person that's like insanely viral right now. His name's Sketch. I don't even know if he's come up on your TikTok, but he's all, he's just this 25 year old guy, right? Who pretends he has autism and, oh. and he, everyone thinks he's like 20 years old and he talks like Trump and I'll just go, What's up, brother? Hey, brother. That's what like, that trend is. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a boy thing. Special plays, special teams, special players. And it's like blown up like a, like insane. Everyone's doing it. He can only go down from here because it's blown up so much. But I say all that to go, he's going to probably get an opportunity. Like I could see him playing Denzel Washington's brother, <laughs> like just because he fucking blew up on TikTok. Like these are the kind of people that in the future are going to be in our movies are these people that haven't even created anything or like not deserving. Yeah, but, but people want to watch the movies. Yeah, people go to it. Because or... I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm, like, excited to see how Ice Spice is as an actress. Because <laughs> she's so unique. Right? Like In a way, her... she's playing a character herself. Yeah, you know? totally, totally. But, like, are they going to cast her like how she is? Like, I don't know. It's just interesting. Well, what sometimes someone like that will then play, like, a normal role. And people are like, oh, my God, Ice Spice could just be a regular person like that, like, like just because it's so far removed of who they are, it's, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like when Will Ferrell plays like a, not a funny role and everyone's like, Oh my God, he's a genius. 
So like the bar is a little low, but yeah, no, I just think we're going to get to the place where it's not going to be think, the best actor. It's do you just think Will be... Ferrell is a genius? Yes. Insane like, genius. Like a genius, how like, I don't know, like an engineer is a genius. A different kind of genius. Everyone yeah. has. Yeah. Like a social genius, right? Yeah. Or like a, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not a genius. You're a genius with uh, dude. With I can feel by. I feel like a kid who like has to go to like the counselor's office for extra extra algebra training or like you know like into the lower classes because as an adult, like I feel like I'm falling behind. People my age know things that I'm like. I feel like I should know that. But I don't know it. <laughs> but I don't know. Sometimes we give value to someone that just knows. I don't know a lot dude, of facts, just, and so we're like, yeah. they must be so smart. But really, they're just recycling things. I do it myself. You're, where you hear like five like good yeah. talking points, and then everyone's like, "Man, that person's so smart." I feel it mostly like when I'm trying to make, <laughs> when I'm trying to talk in a sentence and like give my thoughts. Yeah, like, I'm like, do I have like an adult speech impediment? <laughs> like. Like, you think I, that, or do you feel like your thoughts aren't coming out of your mouth or the thoughts aren't even coming at all? I swear I do deep. Oh, I do think so deeply, but the way I cannot, I can There is something amazing get it about out of my head. someone that's a genius, but is mute or like <laughs> can't speak. But if he could Dude, only speak, but there are just, people like that. There are people that like, maybe when you write it down, look, you did my resume. Way better than I could ever do my own fucking resume. You are very smart and you do know big words when you are able to. I'm smart in like a, like a, you wouldn't, people, when they meet me, they think I'm dumb. I, I really know, I know that, but I'm not as dumb as I come across. Does that make sense? <laughs> but you're so, yeah, you're, but you're a pretty girl. So people are also going to assume you're dumb before no, you even I, talk. But I sound dumb, you know? It's okay. It's okay. I know. I'm aware of it, but I'll just become smart in a different way. Whatever. You're not. It's not dumb. a big deal. It's You're not, not like dumb. it's just just like it's not like my job to be pretty. It's not my job to be smart. To be honest, it's to me, it's my job to be a nice person and a kind person and like yeah. do do good things in the world and treat people with respect. Like that's my like I think to me like that's my priority before someone's like she's so smart but yeah. everybody has a different priority so look there's a lot of people that are dumb that go not only am i gonna be dumb i'm gonna be mean too because mm -hmm. i'm angry that i'm not smart enough yeah i mean if that pushes you to be kinder and a gentler person and more caring and treat your clients better and treat the world better and be a uh a nice like role model yeah, and empathetic yeah. mm-hmm then be as dumb as you can be. <laughs> <laughs> be a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Look, know. I don't I'm know. not smart. I just, feel, I just have been feeling it. Like, I'm like, God, I think I'm dumb. But... Look, I go through that all the time. I go through all those, like, feelings of, like, yeah. especially when I think of jokes and think of myself as a stand-up and watch other stand-up. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I can never come up with yeah. that kind of idea. Yeah, that and, must uh, be so hard to, like, see that you know, and not compare yourself. Yeah, it's tough, but, you know, it's like a different kind of, you know, you don't watch someone else be an esthetician and see how they massage someone's face and be like, I can never massage someone's, or it's not as public for that. And mm -hmm. you're never going to show your full facial. Maybe you should on YouTube and then well, have people be like, dude, this facial is not as good as her last facial. Yeah, but this no matter I'm never going to be as under as under as much scrutiny from people as you are. So yeah, you know, there's a lot. You get a lot more judgment than I do. Well, I'm so. sorry you're feeling dumb. I don't think you're dumb. <laughs> I think you just no, it's like okay. I look. We can all. Uh, I think what it comes down to is, um, what we want to retain and what we focus on, and you studied for the esthetician thing in like three days you learned a book full of shit of like insanely hard words to memorize and really really tough shit like nothing 
Like you're an, you have an incredible brain and I don't want you to feel like you're dumb because you're not, you just can't, don't talk that well sometimes. I don't, I don't articulate well, but I But it's agree. good that you're a podcaster. I know. I, that's why I'm like, <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> when people message me and they say, you say like too much. I'm like, I know I do. <laughs> well, it's I one know. Of, it's one of the 30 words I know. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't what do you know want conjunctions, me to do? <laughs> please. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> but look, you could be also the worst kind of person where you learn big <laughs> words and then you use them all the time and you're like conjunction, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's <nobody> such <laughs> a conjunction, <laughs> a dilemma, if you will. Thesaurus. Oh, you know? That's great. You know, at least you're real in yourself. Well, I think the same thing about you. I think that you think so deeply and like you have a lot of profound um perspectives and i always appreciate i I always appreciate your perspective and i like that we like we talk through a computer and now we like say what we feel about each other i'm like wow i really actually love you yeah you're actually pretty cool dude all right (laughs) next segment what do we got your favorite sex trivia (laughs) oh boy here we go all right let me lube up some of them are multiple choice most of them are you just have to guess so all right what ancient civilization would crush a first time rapist's testicles between two stones what uh the aztecs oh we just have to guess there's no multiple choice there's no multiple yeah, i can make tough. a multiple choice this... no 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 don't worry about it um i feel like it's got to be somewhere that respects women um and you said it was ancient Mm -hmm. maybe rome yeah the romans nice good job (laughs) um (laughs) dude it's so funny to get that right after the conversation after all that yeah dude it was unbelievable it was perfect timing (laughs) i mean you are smart (laughs) <laughs> Rome. <laughs> I'm feeling like people that were nice to women. Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nailed it. Dude, I said the Aztecs. I don't even know if that's a civilization. Yeah, I feel like that's just the only ancient civilization you know about. <laughs> yeah. You know, when I was in high school, I fucking... I had to get like three more credits to graduate. And I just did a one-on-one with a history teacher. And it was all about just ancient, like... Uh, um, Tenochtitlan, Mexico City. And I just had to meet with this guy one-on-one all the time and just talk about, like, old ancient shit. <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, Mr. Lilim, shout out. Shout out. What's Tenochtitlan? I just remember that's what Mexico City used to be, and it's just so fun to say. Tenochtitlan. All right. <laughs> all right, next one. An 18th century French prostitute could be spared punishment if she were willing to do what? Yeah, we have options. Join the opera. Serve as a jester. Spend a night with the king. Spend a night with the king. I think it's a trick question to ser- serve as a jester. It is join the opera. Oh, wow. Wow. Really Sucks at that one. All right. <laughs> well, we're done. The with opera that. must have been a big deal. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. No, I guess so. Sure. I mean, more than fucking the king? Yeah. Yeah. More important. Luckily, she had a king that wasn't horny. Yeah, I was going to say. I'm tired of fucking. I'd rather just hear you sing. Well, the king can't. (laughs) (laughs) I want you to shut up. How about you? (laughs) Instead of like, shut up and fuck me, he's like, don't fuck me and sing. Yeah. What a weirdo. What a a fucking creep. (laughs) What a creep, dude. (laughs) Okay, next. Another multiple choice one. In ancient Greece, if a man was found guilty of adultery, he could have his pubic hair removed or this vegetable shoved up his anus. And the options are a radish, a carrot, or a cucumber. A cu- uh, a carrot. Um, yeah, I'm, I feel carrot, too. It was a radish. Damn. I was just thinking, like, I don't think they had cucumbers back then. They didn't know about them. Wait, no. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. And I was thinking the same with Radish. I thought well, Carrot, I actually I thought of Carrot Radish well. because to me, Radish kind of feels like a sister of an onion, you know? Oh. And like maybe they discovered that a Radish, but but bunnies eat carrots. So those were definitely there. It'd be funny if that's how they f- figured out how pickles are made. <laughs> <laughs> if fermented in their asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great this day's good <laughs> wait so wait but he had two options though of shaving his pubes was the well, other I don't, one or i don't think he know? had options i think like the guy i love that that was like the fucking that's just funny that that was the uh Such what would you what would you choose but get rid of your pubes that makes it sound like they were waxing it right I don't think they had maybe wax. cutting it with a sword. Whatever is maybe the most yeah. painful, torturous way. Yeah, the, I mean, those days. oh, yeah. I see. Like I it's mean. ancient Greece. Maybe they were just maybe they're just ripping them out one by one. That's why it, it <gasps> that would be torture. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're just thinking that they're trimming. I'm thinking like yeah. you got a nice trimmer set on three. <laughs> oh, they, no. they don't have cucumbers. They definitely don't have like a Venus five five. <laughs> five cartridge but that's where razor. my brain went like trimming pubes i'm like who gives a fuck Shaving about trimming cream. the pubes they, Are yeah you they probably put like am i oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. all right next what do we got what percent of women who engage in oral sex swallow their partner's ejaculate every time um i'd say 12 every time Every time. Zero percent. Thirty percent. Damn, there's some hungry women. They're lying. <laughs> Do you feel like you want to swallow and eat jizz more when you haven't eaten dinner? No, only when I've had like two drinks minimum. <laughs> <laughs> or if I'm really horny. If I'm ovulating, then I'm like fine. <laughs> I love the person that only swallows when she's hungry. <laughs> I can't eat cum on an empty stomach. <laughs> I can't eat vagina after having chicken parm. <laughs> Just a lot of chewing. Lot. Oh, God. All right, what's next? In what state... Oh, wait. Okay, I'm starting that sentence over. <laughs> In what state is sex with an animal, unless performed for profit, is not considered sodomy and therefore is legal. Damn, definitely a southern state? state. Um, I'm going Alabama. That's funny. I was gonna say Alabama, or no, not Texas. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Alabama. Utah. Yeah, Utah's Damn. weird. Like the Mormons. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, you could have ten wives and a fucking <laughs> and, a and you can and you can fuck a yeah. horse. Yeah, dude, you can fuck. In case you need a cock, everything is open. That, you can always have sex I, with dude, a horse. Oh, uh, if you're a guy in Utah, any there's no limits or for what you can cheat on your wife with. Or it's not cheating; it's just having fun. Wait, you know what I was just thinking about? Fucking an animal. No, if I had to pick between the pubes and and the radish, you take the radish because it's just a little bulb. Like a radish is like a little bulb. It's not oh, shaped like a carrot yeah. or a cucumber. So definitely you want that. That'd probably feel yeah, good. Yeah, they'd be pissed when you have an organ. You could probably make them eat your gum after that. They're like, oh my god, this girl. <laughs> this girl's way too into this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like when you sleep, there's this. You know, people are like, I can't believe she had sex with a horse, and people get so mad about it. But then I'm like, that horse, like, only has sex with other horses, and now he's getting a woman. Are you kidding me? That horse is fucking stoked. I would think. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you got like horse, like fly vagina all the time, and then you got any kind of woman vagina, Gross. it's just like it's got to be. I'm just saying for a horse. <laughs> Anyhow. What's next? Brenna, what are you doing? What? 
Okay. We'll do three more. According to a direct study, women from what country are most likely to fake orgasms? Hmm. I feel like Russia. The U.S. Canada, close. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I want because they're just nicer people. Probably. Like they say sorry a lot, so I guess them having an orgasm is a way to just appease the person. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I thought Russia or something like that because if they don't pretend that they're risking their lives, so I thought out of fear they would pretend. Got it. But anyway. Um, is it? <laughs> what do you think is <laughs> happening in Russia? Huh? I'm just saying in other countries where it's like where women aren't seen as as equal, if they don't pretend to have an orgasm, it could be fucking trouble for them. That's all. Okay. Who are you texting over there? Um, nobody. <laughs> well, you're looking down a lot. Sorry, I I was pulling something up for the podcast. Promise. <laughs> what were you pulling up? Don't worry about it. Let's continue. <laughs> All right. It isn't. I'm on to you. <laughs> I'm on to you over there. <laughs> You're probably looking up radishes for your asshole. I'm door dashing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your door radishes. <laughs> See, babe, you're so smart. <laughs> yeah. All right. It is ancient. I don't even know if that worked. It is Go. it is ancient legend that Cleopatra had how many orgasms in a day? What the hell? In a day? Obviously it's 13. gotta be a lot then. Eight or thirteen. Um, you could take all the numbers over there. <laughs> you get two choices. Or twenty three. Twenty seven. I'm gonna go with something crazy like eighteen. Well, it's only two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love that it. for a woman. That's wild. No, it's not. Two? That's like crazy for a girl. That's not crazy. No. Per well, per it, day. Every, every day. Well, every day is kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Every you know how many day. radishes that is? <laughs> I'm about to find out. <laughs> You're gonna take down the whole radish. See, the Dude, prices of the radishes whole are gonna go up. Radish industry, man. Find out on <laughs> yeah, Patreon. <laughs> oh my god! All, All right, right. last you, one. Anyone? Last one. What sea animal enjoys group sex? Oh, this is the animal that enjoys group sex. The sea animal. Oh, I know. Oh, the dolphin. Is it a dolphin? What do you think? Um, I was thinking something smaller, like a seahorse, but I don't think it's <laughs> maybe like an anemone. What do you think? This is Utah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like an um, or like clownfish. I don't know. Were you about to say an enigma? An enemy. <laughs> an enemy. Like something that's like smart, technically, babe. they're technically individuals, but they live in like groups, like some type of bacteria, like an, an enemy or whatever, right? Gotcha. I don't know. What is it, Melanie? It is porpoises. Yeah, dolphins. Yeah, I didn't know if they were the same thing exactly, but I just. How do you know so much about dolphins? <laughs> yeah. I was like, they... oh, porpoise is definitely what I just said it was, like bacteria. You're like, yeah. It... No, a porpoise is a dolphin, really? dude. Really? Yeah. Wow. He lives in Florida. Yeah, I guess. They fuck all the time. Dolphins are so horny. It's yeah, crazy. dude, they are like high on life. Of course they're horny. They're like in the sun, just like swimming around, splashing and jumping. Oh, having a yeah. blast. Down and there. they and they, they like love they humans and like have anything. friends. Yeah, they're horny. Oh they don't have to go to Coachella. They just fuck and just what did you say? What happened? I just knocked Is your mom in the other room or uh, something? she's down yeah, she they're I'm upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they can totally hear me. What if you walk down and in the kitchen there's just seven radishes <laughs> on the table? <laughs> 
ready to go. Dude, yeah, they can definitely hear me, but I don't care. I've said crazier things. That's true. All right, so that's it, right? And then we'll right. we skincare tip. No. Yeah, well, yes, yeah, oh. skincare tip, and we'll save this thing for the next pod. Or we can save it for Patreon, I guess. Oh, okay. Anyhow. I just wanted to say um, signs of overuse of your retinol um, or a retinol that might be too strong includes readiness, um, irritation, inflammation, and thinning, which can lead to retinol burn, um, but not to be confused with your skin accu- like acclimating to retinol, which can cause some like dryness and flakiness. But if you're experiencing redness or like tenderness to the touch and like th- that inflammation, you should s- either spread out the number of times you're using it, or it's just not the right formulation for you. And you should look, f- search for a retinol. It, that's basically formulated with a lot of like cushiony ingredients around it, like ceramides, peptides, um, anything healing. Um, my personal favorite is I actually, it's kind of a blend of acids, but it does have retinol in it. I really like the Skin Better Science Alpharet Overnight Cream. Or alternatively, if you're like, have never been on a retinol before and you get into it, I highly, highly suggest the Dr. Loretta um, concentrated firm, firming serum that's formulated with all of those um, ingredients that I just mentioned, and it's super gentle, great to introduce into the skin. Awesome, thanks, Brenna, and thank you for listening. And go buy yourself a radish, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye, guys. Puddles, 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 Everybody now, puddles, puddles. Everybody get up because you get down and then everyone will come over here.